I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma, stage two. My cancer wanted to move. We went in just to my ob and she diagnosed me with polycystic ovarian syndrome, and I haven't been able to get pregnant. We're all exposed to so many things without our knowledge and end up with some type of health consequences like infertility or like cancer or like a learning disability. And we're like, oh, why do I have this? You can't explain it by just genetics, right? Genetic drift does not happen in 20 years. So there has to be some type of other factor that's going on that explains this. And chemicals are certainly one thing that's gone up dramatically in the last 50 years. You can go through a few classic examples of major mistakes in which we allow these industries to get away with murder. Too many people are affected by this. We need your help. This is a safety issue. I'll be honest, I take offense when anyone would even insinuate that our industry is supporting an increase in the body burden of chemicals. It does feel like somebody fell asleep at the red phone and it's been ringing. <laughs> when you tell Americans that the Chinese have better protections than Americans do, <laughs> they're shocked. We need a movement around this because that's how things get done. One, two, we shouldn't have to wait to get cancer, a reproductive problem, for this issue to change. It should change now.